We're on the move again. Now we are going from Hansacre to Rougely. And we're going there because Rougely has a lot of shops, basically. It's really convenient. So we're gonna pit stop there, stock up, and then I think head out again to Great Haywood. And, oh, we've got a leaf through the white window. Um, and hopefully meet up with like Hannah and Ant and Kay. Heading into Rugeley in the convoy style. Behind me is Dan Chapman and Kat. Here we are just squeezing through the moored boats of Rugeley. It's pretty tight in here. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. It's nice to have the flotilla back together, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's nice to travel with other humans. Yeah. Not be alone the whole time. Got a passenger this morning. I don't think he can decide whether it's whether he wants to go on or get off. Some people just can't handle boat life. We're just on our way up to Great Hayward from Rugeley. A couple of blocks. A pretty easy little time of it. Autumn is coming, a season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. So misty, I can't believe it's stayed. Misty. I know. Normally you can see the hills of Cannock Chase up there. It's cool, it's nice. Are you excited to get to Great Haywood? Yeah, I am actually. help up this lock. We've been joined by some friends of ours and he's also recruited some hire boaters to help us through. And William's at the tiller. So the living's easy. So crewing with us today is Atia and Zach, who real die-hard Holly the Cafe boat viewers might remember from last year. Where are you? Can't see you. How do you know where I am? We made it to Great Hayward. Um, just in time to sample some words from the oat cake boat. The boat cake. Mabel! Just a, a straight up single cheese oat cake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, single cheese. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Mm. Mm. Like a heavy duty pancake. Mmm. It's really good. We've gone for round two. <laughs> it's the weather for it. Yeah. You needed at least two oat cakes on a day like today. Got you, William. We're in the grounds of Shugra Hall, which is a big old house that Lord Litchfield used to live in. But it's got really nice grounds. We're in some ancient woodland. You look like two very shady figures in those hats, <laughs> silhouetted. <laughs> now there really is some bull beef. These grounds are so big, they've got golf carts to get you around in. The 
Everyone's just having a little pit stop in this old courtyard. Do you chips? How's your ice cream? Satisfactory. This car behind me, that's Lady Litchfield's old car. The bad news is the cafe is shut. The good news is there's a massive cockerel. This is the actual hall bit. I think that's the main mansion over there. Stony looking one. The first paddle stroke of many. So we're just on the canal now, in the canoe. The plan is to go up to where we can most easily join the river, Trent, and ride the river Trent downstream, get the canoe out again back onto the canal, and meet up with Holly. I'm joined by Dan Chapman. Hello. This is a Holly retrieval mission, really. We're coming up to the lock now, which is kind of our nearest point of portage to where we're going to start our river journey, which should be a lot quicker than this because we're going downstream. It's actually not so bad, is it? Hopefully not heavy it was. Oh. <laughs> so down this path, that's where we meet the river. So this is the River Trent and our first job will be to get the canoe and all of the contents and ourselves in it. And our second job immediately after that will be to negotiate our passage under that bridge. And the third job, and probably the most important for the whole trip, would be don't capsize the canoe and get wet. I agree. I'm just looking at where to launch the canoe because it's quite shallow around here. Maybe we launch from that side. I think we should carry the canoe across the bridge and launch from that deeper area. <laughs> I was actually just about to say that I thought a canoe would be a bit too difficult to get over the bridge, but then those ladies just rode massive horses over it. I feel like our cool way to cross the river and go and retrieve our boat just got totally beaten. I've come prepared for a little bit of shallow water canoe portage and instead of wearing normal shoes I'm wearing these little booties so I'm fully expecting to get wet at least up to the knees <laughs> I said shall I go and get my wetsuit boots no well, you've got them <laughs> I don't... it's fine I don't mind a paddle okay it's been decided since I'm the one who's wearing the booties that I'm gonna try and get the canoe in from here in the shallow end and get it over to the other side where I'll pick up Dan and our gear. Let's go for it. So I got a little bit muddy trying to retrieve the drone just then. We were trying to get it from that bank opposite, which is basically just a swamp. But other than that, I think these little booties that I'm wearing are absolutely, this is a great choice. I feel as aquatic as a duck. This video is just going to be about your boots, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Holly the Cafe Boat, mainly featuring Victor's boots. The boots. <laughs> I love this. I love canoeing out on the river.
That might not look like much from here, but this does actually look quite difficult, to be honest, because if you go the way where there's the deepest water, you kind of get sort of sideways onto the flow, which is where you don't want to be, I think, in a canoe. And then on the other side, you're kind of, would have to do a quick scoot round there again. From my perch up here, if we go through this section, where it's just a gentle flow into a bush of nettles. Yeah. It's probably the fastest this canoe's ever been. Look at this! Whoa! She's just crossing the river. Are you allowed over there? So it doesn't look like it. That's cool. The river's just suddenly widened out, opened up and gotten really shallow. And it's difficult to see where there's actually going to be shallow water because where all the reeds come up to the surface, it looks all deceptive. It ripples the surface of the water and makes it look like it's really shallow. But it's just fun games you can play anyway. None of it's very serious. I don't think anything's going to pierce the hull or anything, but it's just quite nice keeping an eye out for things and being like, right. It's really shallow here, it's kind of beached. It gets so shallow that you can't paddle. Yeah. Not everyone made it. Better not joke about it. I'm pretty sure somebody told me that this used to be the boathouse to a big kind of mansion place that's under, like, that's behind the canal. So this used to have a tunnel going to this place from the main house. And this was where the chap kept his boat. Woo! We could probably spend a bit too much time today doing this, but we've got a mission. Go. I can know it wasn't proper rapids, but that was quite rapid water. I've been a canal canoeist for ages. I think out here on the river, where it wants to be, it's a whole different game. It's good though. That's quite exhilarating, wasn't it? It was so exhilarating, I had to have another cracker <laughs> with hummus. <laughs> Get my energy level back up. So we've been, we set out on this canoe trip, basically to go and get Holly and then catch Holly up with the rest of the fleet. But also, we could have cycled it or got the bus. But I think uh, doing it like this, there is a sense of accomplishment that comes with negotiating this much river. That I think is a viaduct that the canal goes over. So now I think we're gonna try and find somewhere to portage the canoe again and get it on the canal. And then we can just tow the canoe back with Holly, hopefully. Unless Holly's engine doesn't start for some reason and then we'll be towing Holly back with the canoe. happens now we didn't fall in in the river which is a massive bonus and 
This little amphibian effect that I've got going on with the footwear has absolutely worked a treat. My feet have been really warm the whole time, even though they've been wet. Ooh. Now for the final chapter, the last leg of our journey to Holly is on the canal. Hopefully Holly's moored up just around the corner, although it has been a couple of days since I've seen her. And then, uh, and then of course, we've got to get Holly back reunited with the fleet, which is maybe a few hours work, but at least we're nearly halfway there. Here she is. And we're off on the big boat with the canoe in tow. It's looking pretty good for us too. Now we're going over the River Trent, which we just canoed down to get here. We're only really able to do this mission because this canal, the Trent and Mersey Canal, hugs the River Trent for so long along its course. That is just like really easy ways that we could get the canoe from the canal onto the river and then from the river back onto the canal. But it's pretty good. Even now where we are, we can see the river just down below us, moving along pretty peacefully. about half past five in the evening. We've eaten everything that we've brought with us. It's all taken a little bit longer than we thought it would, but we're gonna make it. That's the important thing. Well, perhaps partly because of camera battery reasons, maybe we'll leave it here for today. But thanks very much for watching. I guess you'll have to watch the next video to see whether we actually made it back or not, but it's safe to assume that we will. But thanks very much for watching and a uh, big thanks to the patrons. You guys keep us going and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye. We made it. <laughs> Whee. Yeah, it is. Does it feel good to see Holly again? Yeah, I haven't seen her for ages. There's actually no space next to zero for Holly, so we're gonna go a little further on, I think, and just moor up as soon as we can, maybe around the corner. But maybe we really will leave it here for now, this time. But thanks for watching. Catch us again on the next one, hopefully, and see you later. Bye! Bye! Dad. Bye! Also bye! <laughs>